In this video, you will learn that how to measure three phase AC voltage. So let's make the circuit. First of all, choose the Arduino Uno. I'm choosing Arduino Uno. You can choose any Arduino board. Now, pick the alternator. Double click on it and pick the transformer. Choose this one, double click on it. Resistor, capacitor, double click on it, and LCD module. I'm choosing the 20 cross 4. You can choose any model. Now let's make the circuit. Make the connection as I'm doing. Also, power the Arduino and LCD as well. Ground it. Also, connect the 5 volt with the LCD as well. Now, pick the alternator. Transformer make its value as three, the amplitude should be 312. So it will make a 220 volt RMS value 50 hertz frequency. And uh, make the coupling factor as 0 0.059. So it will convert the voltage from 220 to 13 volt. And now pick the resistor, rotate it. Copy it. also make another copy here so i will need to use it as well connect it also make the connection as i'm doing so pick the capacitor as well place it here rotate it make the value of capacitor as 10 microfarad 10 uf connect here also connect the resistor here as well make the value of this resistor as 100 kilo ohm and this should be 10 kilo this should be 100 100 k make another copy now Connect it with 5 volt and ground this one. So let's check the values 100, 10, 100, 100, and 10 microfarad. The coupling factor should be 0 0.059 and the amplitude of the voltage should be 312. So it will make a 220 volt peak. Uh, sorry the RMS value let me connect the 
ac voltmeter in order to check the input voltage and verify with the arduino we will connect this pin with the arduino analog pin but as we are dealing in a three phase voltage so make a three more connection like this so i will just copy it place it here and again place it here now let me reduce the spaces in it connect it here Now connect the this pin with Arduino Uno analog pin A0 and connect this one with the analog A1 and this one with the analog A2. So circuit is almost ready and now it's time to write a code for it. Let me zoom it to the specific area. and now it's time to write a code for it so code code already have been written by me so here you can see the lcd library code and pins so you have to add the external library a mon library and uh, how you can add just go to sketch the link is provided in the description you can download the library from there this is the library attached in the link provided in the description of this uh, video so just add it go to sketch include library Add zip library and then select the file of the Amon library. So here the library as I already have added it. So it's saying that the library name Amon library master already exists. So in your case, if not in your case, it should be added. Now run the code and copy the hex file address from here. Select it. Press Ctrl C in order to copy it. And paste the code here. Sorry, the hex file here. Click on OK. And now if uh, let me zoom it more to a specific area. Now run the code, run the simulation. Now you can see that phase 1 voltage is 220 here you can see as well 220 and uh, the phase uh, 2 is also 220 the phase 3 is also 220 here you can see that 220 are uh, 219 220 almost equal to that now let's increase the voltage of uh, any phase let me increase the voltage of this phase so I am increasing it from 412 so it will become 
the RMS value will be 293 or something. Here you can see that 291, 290. Here you can see 291 voltage. Similarly, if you change the voltage of any other phase, let me, sorry, let me change the value of this to 412 to instead of 450. I'm making it 450. So its uh, RMS value will become, you can see 317. 317 318 here you can see the 318 and similarly if i change the value of this so it will al also be uh, changed uh, and it will measure the voltage of this as well so now let to make the previous value of 312 Now you can see it's 220 volt almost. Here you can see on the LCD display as well. So this was the method of how to measure three phase AC voltage. The circuit diagram and code of this project is available in the description. The link is available in the description. You can download the circuit and code of this project from there. If you like the project, please subscribe my channel, like and share the video. Also visit my channel for more videos related to Arduino. Thanks for watching.